welcome back so let's start the deployment of so in the last video we just migrated the skin adapter of all four mesh now it's time to start the deployment of the mesh first of all look at the ip address what you what you are going to assign to your nsxt manager so let's have a look so what I am going to configure for NSXT01 manager as 10.216. So let's look at the NS lookup. FOC NSXT. So as you can see for is 0.1.2.1.6 IP is configured so we will use the same so I am going to deploy NSX 3.2 as an OVU file so let's deploy OVU template and just to install the NSX 0.1 we will do that deploy OVU template local file just drop This is a summary. So let's install the NSM files. And data store would be OS3 and this will be thin provision. So whatever the space required on the allocate that particular amount. So I'm going to use the management network. I will use a static IP. And the password let me copy it That's completely your file. Let's now open the management page. It would be the FOC dot local dot local local dot local dot local dot local directory and enable okay so this is 
is for internal use only. Take a couple of minutes to import the OVA file. As you can see, it starts the deployment of NSXT manager. So I am going to resume the pause the video and resume it back once it is completed. Stay tuned, keep watching. Installation is about to finish. So deployment of OVA is about to finish now. So after that the VM will start. Wait for a couple of minutes. So the VM is boot up and let's. started services Your, you can see Right now we have only one NSX manager but we can have more as long as it is a demo environment so I am not going to install another NSX manager to avoid the use of extra resources as you can see the utilization uh, still I have good enough memory but I don't want to configure another one So this is an overview, this is the home page where you can see the class of networking, security, inventory and system. In inventory it will show you the number of groups, services, virtual machine, physical servers, all, all that information and system how many NSX managers are installed and security 
how many policies are configured, how many gateway policies, how many endpoint policies, all that stuff. In networking so far, we did not configure anything. In monitoring dashboard, you can see the system dashboard. So far, only one NSX node is configured. Rest is quite fresh. So as long with the passage of time as we configure multiple things like adding host, HVM, distributed routers, segments, then we can see a lot more stuff here. As you can see, there is no T0 gateway, T1 gateway, no firewalling, no node balancer, nothing is configured, it's quite fresh. So this is it for now. So what I am going to do in my next video is in step four, we will continue how to add compute manager and then how we can configure the virtual IP in case if you have multiple NSX manager, then you use to access virtual IP and then virtual IP will forward your traffic to active NSX manager. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching.